we are checking out this new area with two local girls. Finally, it's my turn to have two girls to show me around. It's definitely going to be nice to get a female's perspective. Saudi smells. Oh, it's Saudi so coffee. good. It is kind of. <laughs> Like this way. People are eating dinner at 1 a.m. That is just insane. We've been in Saudi Arabia now for just over three weeks and we're having the conversation that filming has been so easy. Being the fact that the country opened in 2019 to tourists, we thought that it'd be a real issue with our camera. We jinxed it. We're currently at Riyadh front and we got stopped by security and we are now holders of a regular work <laughs> permit. We have basically signed our life away to Riyadh front, but this evening we are checking out this new area with two local girls that we actually met in Jeddah, and they're gonna show us around one of their favorite areas, go to some restaurants, maybe some cafes, and see a side of Riyadh that we haven't explored yet. This is actually uh, like an outdoor mall complex obviously everywhere in saudi is pretty much malls restaurants cafes but in the middle there's like a, a floating fountain and i'm actually very excited because we've been shown around by a lot of guys we've had a few guys in different areas and finally it's my turn to have two girls to show me around to chat to um and that can be the one behind the camera one thing saudi definitely know how to do well is a shopping mall look at this place it's definitely going to be nice to get a female's perspective of life in the country and to experience what nightlife is like in Riyadh, considering that, like Molly said, I've been shown around by a few friends for life, but they have all been men in quite a male-dominant country. It's nice to let, let the women have a go. It is just full of high-end cafes that are like floating on little fountains. And they absolutely love an oud shop. That is the smell that you can smell everywhere. There is like these shops. Saudi smells. Oh, it's Saudi so coffee good. And Saudi oud everywhere. It smells so good. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? You okay? I'm oh, okay. How are you? Good. Hi. 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 What's your name? Jamila. Nice to meet you, nice Molly. To meet you. Nice to meet you. So we have met our friends Oswan and Jamila. Um, <laughs> is this one of your favourite places in Riyadh? Um, this is like a yeah, a typical hunt. Yeah. A typical, <laughs> a typical one. So it's like an outdoor mall. Yes. Loads of restaurants. Tons of restaurants. Cafes. Like, you can find, like some shops, H&M, Abercrombie, American Eagle. Yeah, American Eagle. And Sephora. And why do you guys love malls so much? I think it's because it gets really hot. I mean, this is like a nice place to come. This when is it's actually like really hot cold, though. But when it gets hot, we love to go to the malls. <laughs> it's like, you know, air conditioned because it's like. Even a though we're outside right now. <laughs> you have to think extreme weather. <laughs> it's not extreme right now. It's not it's, extreme. Actually, like, we're getting. It's like, it's really good. Actually. This is like really. perfect yes. weather. Oh, nice. Yeah, thank nice. you so much. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you too. Bye. <laughs> Saudi literally put on a show everywhere. <laughs> We're in the mall. So this is cut up and it's like milky drink. It's like a tea with like a bunch of little um, spices is inside it. Good? it. I think it's we so had good. it. It's so good. It's like it's sweet. It's a little sweet. Actually, it can be very sweet, but <laughs> it depends on how you like it. <laughs> So I have already tried carrot before. Is it one of your favorites? Yes, in the winter. This one's got more tea in it though. The one we've had before has been like pure and cream. It's, it's not as sweet too. No, it's not. Yeah. It's, it's carrot okay. from Yemen. It's Yemeni, right? To be honest, I don't know. <laughs> I think it is. 
There are so many different events going on in this like outdoor mall area and this is one of them and I think it's like an art, is it an art thing? Something like that, but they're dressed in their traditional clothing. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Even if we can get in. Salam. Alan. Can we come in? Welcome. Thank you. Uh, okay, when, uh, in like when, you, you know, uh, we are closed now, because oh. we have we have a break, like two minutes, oh. three okay. minutes. Okay. And then we can I come in? Wow. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, wow, this is cool. Oh. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. So there's going to be like a one minute or two minute show um, and it's for the founding day of Saudi. I love the clothing. The everything, yeah, I love the clothing and everything is so high tech, isn't it? That was really cool. It was basically an interactive video celebrating all things Saudi. Shukran. We're now in. Oh! An interactive oh, photo booth! A photo booth. Oh, oh for my shadow! So I stand here. And then what do we do? In the middle? Yes. And uh, your shadow gonna be. Ah. So do we turn this yes. way? Like this way? This way, this way. This way? Yes, yes, this way. Okay. And then we smile. No, you no. <laughs> Just the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> We're confused. Oh, okay. Okay, so this way. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Turn the head to the left. Turn the head to the left. Now? But you... You fought to yourself. Shukran, I understand, I understand. So, you stand there and I can do it with the camera. Yes. Yes. So this, and then come back, move back. Yes. Uh, and see, and then do something with your shadows. Yes. We got it. We so got it. Shukran. <laughs> It's not an interactive photo booth, it's for a photo of your shadow. And what does this say? The great shadow? Yeah. Like the great shadow. So we are now the great shadow. Yes. Ah, oh, Shukran, thank you so much. I'm glad we worked it out in the end. So, how do you find life in Saudi today? I think life in Saudi has just become a lot more, like, easy. It's a lot, like you can see people like interact with each other, men and women, like you can, you can see things like really changing in this country. Things that were not readily available to us are now very available to us. And I think the government is doing a great job in trying to like push forward women in workplace, in society. I think they're doing a great job and I, I'm excited to see what else is going to come later on in One the future. One thing I've actually noticed is especially in like the smaller cities like in Bereda and Medina there's like separated areas yeah. for families and for it says singles. Yes. Does that mean that like me and Matt because we didn't know which way to go like do we go in the family section or do you, we go? You would be considered family. Ah. Yeah so, so singles, singles singles are for men. <laughs> Just men. So men. Men who are not with their wives or men who are single like okay. who are not married and everyone else goes in the family section. everybody else goes in the family but section. that's not here in Riyadh um, I, you can still see it here and there I think um, but they're removing it they're working on removing it here and I you see it a lot now that they're removing all of these because you can these, see like, like everything here is like joint yes like, we're, yes everyone's together such a different world even music you would never imagine that you would hear music in a restaurant, but now it's like everywhere. It's so crazy. When I came here, like I, I studied in the US, when I came back, I was just shocked about like how things change so drastically. I'm like, where am I? <laughs> Together again. Yeah, For sure. We'd no. love to. Thank it's you really so much. We were standing in that photo booth for about 10 minutes and the guy was saying, okay, photo, photo, photo. So I thought it was gonna take a photo. He wanted us to film the shadows to take a photo but that was so interesting so cool to see women's perspective here in Saudi you hear such a lot of propaganda about this place and when you come here and you see it for yourself you'll see how different it is it's probably better Molly to explain this than me but we are now it's 10 to 10 we're eating dinner just so late out here people are eating dinner at 1 a.m. that is just insane the girls were just so lovely. Ultron actually, she didn't want to be in the video, which is understandable. Um, but Shamila, as you heard, you know, she's... Saudi hospitality. Saudi hospitality is just too much. People are so friendly and also just as excited as we are about I, us being here, because we're very excited to be here. Do you know what I'm excited um, about? But to the changes. Eating? Food. <laughs> I'm starving. Yalla. 
But this place is just so cool. It's interactive, full of restaurants, lounges. And like I said, they just do it so well. This goes for about a kilometre full of all these. Are you taking me to a fancy restaurant? Absolutely no chance. What's the cheapest <laughs> oh. place here? The more time you spend in Saudi, you realise that their coffee shops are basically the equivalent of our bars. Look how fancy this is. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's so nice to have so many different options of food to eat, but at the same time, it kind of stresses me out because I never know what the hell Saudi has we should everything. get. Like literally every cuisine, every country in the world. Like right next got. to us is a steakhouse and a burger house. And we've had a lot of burgers and I kind of fancied something different. So we've gone for Mexican and look at how big this burrito is. It's like the biggest, it is a beast of a burrito, but it's so nice we get to sit outside, we can people watch. I can stuff my face with a burrito. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank they you look so amazing. much. They look great. Salama. Salama. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. A non-alcoholic <sighs> margarita. Is That's it refreshing? good. It's really good. The guy went out the back. He was going to bring me the tin one, and I was like, "Can we get the one from the photo?" <laughs> so he's like, "I'll make you the you best margarita." You wanted the salt on the top to relive a mm. cocktail. I mean, it's not quite the same. It's having a huge shot tequila in it but for a mocktail in Saudi it's very good good morning from Riyadh here in Saudi what a lovely evening we had with Orjwan and Jamila you know from my perspective it was so nice to hang out with girls we've been hanging out with a lot of boys sometimes it was three boys and just me and you know that can get a little bit tedious so it was lovely to have some girl time and to to show you what is Saudi nightlife going to malls going to these really nice restaurants going to cafes it's not too dissimilar to what we would do at home except we drink alcohol but it's been very refreshing to not drink out here it's nice to sort of take in and enjoy the evening and the time outside and actually we didn't stand out as much in Riyadh throughout the country we haven't seen many uh, foreigners or expats I suppose um, and in Riyadh we really saw a lot of businessmen, businesswomen um, and a lot of people from abroad so it was nice to see different people around as well as the locals of course but yeah having a Mexican in Saudi you can get everything you could ever want we've eaten a lot of different foods out here because they literally have everything and I think that's that's the beauty of going to a mall. I think that's actually why they took us so that you could go and see all the different cafes, all the different restaurants. But we have more coming up from our time here in Riyadh. So we shall see you in the next one doing something different in the city.